tech has become somewhat of a defensive asset class in this market, particularly after the March 23rd low uh, and the pandemic hit. Um, really, you know, when you identify some COVID winners, winners and players that, that benefit from a more stay-at-home economy, a large cap technology across the space really comes to the forefront there. And so we've seen this in the leadership. The NASDAQ now is up year to date about 15% plus. Um, and, and you could perhaps say as we were heading towards earnings season, um, that's usually a time where there is a little bit of sell the news. If you are doing some profit taking, perhaps this is a catalyst to do so. And so over the last two weeks or so, we have seen the NASDAQ take a pause. Uh, it's been down 2.7% roughly uh, prior to today. Um, what's interesting to note is, though, every time we do get a pullback and we never get a substantial one, we see buyers in on those dips. And so, again, today we, we saw a bit of that. Um, but what we say generally is that the, the large cap tech names, especially ahead of Thursday, perhaps remain a little bit more vulnerable uh, to sell the news impact. Um, that being said, you know, longer term, we continue to believe in that secular growth uh, story across several uh, different themes, you know, 5G, okay. mobile payment, cybersecurity, uh, to name a few. And so I think, generally speaking, we do think there is a room for a bit of a, a pullback, profit-taking, period of consolidation, but that may be a tactical opportunity for investors more than anything. Interesting. And Mona, I mean, it raises the broader question is if those names remain vulnerable, what does it say about the broader stock market? Because the other fascinating development this week has just been that surge in gold prices, which indicates that people are still seeking safety, perhaps more so now than we've seen in the last few weeks. So can we continue to see the equity run to the upside exist with this run going higher in gold? Yeah, you know, I think generally um, that defensive tilt that we've been seeing in the market, we talked about how that, that manifested through large cap tech. It's also manifesting through traditional defensive asset classes, gold being one of them, treasuries being another, even high quality investment grade bonds. We're seeing you know, a little bit of flight to safety in these asset classes broadly. You know, going forward, we do think if the S&P is going to make a sustainable run, we will need to see a broadening in participation. It can't just be the five you know, large cap tech names that we're all following uh, that will drive us there. So we think that reopening cyclical play will have to participate to some extent. We'll have to see a better you know, return broadly. The risk reward still remains pretty compelling there. Um, but in order for those to participate, we think probably there has to be a fundamental shift. Either we do get a vaccine candidate or a viable vaccine solution in place, or we see better trends generally, particularly here in the U.S. and some of the hotspot states that have really seen the surge in, in cases. And so until we get a, a more clear reopening story, we, we will probably continue to either grind sideways or see tech uh, take the leadership role. But it will be hard to see that cyclical reopening story really take an a extensive or substantial leadership position um, until those fundamentals improve. 